I was very pleased a couple of weeks ago to be able to stand with many of my colleagues in the House and Senate um, from both sides of the aisle when all of the women got together to urge the committee to pursue this legislation, which provides an opportunity to clearly state our not just dissatisfaction but intolerance uh, for a continuation of what many of us feel is perhaps uh, not the most, uh, the safest environment for many of our citizens in Connecticut when we send them to college. A lot of us were very um, impacted by first the news and then the testimony last fall when we heard um, about the uh, UConn students who were willing to come forward and talk about their experiences at the University of Connecticut on campus. And I think for many of us who had worked with issues uh, concerning sexual assault for years, and we had seen Connecticut's laws and policy follow along really in a, a headlining um, position leading the nation in many, many respects um, in these issues. It was devastating to understand from these students exactly their experiences. And I think that was compelling to me, certainly, but to many of us. Women in both the House and the Senate, Democrats and Republicans, got together as a group and every one of us signed a letter to the committee asking that they raise a bill to, in this manner, deal with these issues at our colleges and universities in the state. What's important about that is that was a very uh, bipartisan, uh, broad uh, coming together uh, for a specific purpose, and it actually happens a lot more in this building uh, than maybe the public always sees. The requirements in this bill mirror federal legislation that was passed last year, but doesn't take effect for quite a few years. It pushes Connecticut out ahead of that uh, in terms of the timing. And that's really important, particularly for our students. When they're looking at colleges and universities with their families, they have a right to know what type of environment, what the climate is like uh, surrounding this uh, reprehensible uh, situations on their campuses and what kind of support will be available for them if for an un uh, some unfortunate event occurs and they're victimized. So it's really important, I think, that students pay attention to that and understand first that Connecticut has done, will be doing a great job in pushing it uh, a little further than maybe a lot of states around us are ready to do immediately, but also that they're entitled to have this information and to understand this before they uh, make their final decisions.